God bless each and one of you. Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about remember God and all your problems. And we're going to just start it off with Exodus that we could see when God, we could see how in the beginning, before Exodus even started, way before, that we could see how the Israelites were going to be in slavery for a, a lot of amount of years. And then God says that after this specific amount of years, I will take them to the land of milk and honey, which was the land God was preparing each one of them to live in. But once when that time, while they were in slavery, they forgot about God's promise. And they were asking, Lord, have you forgot us? Have you forsaken us? And a lot of people nowadays are forgetting that God is with us throughout our tribulations and problems. We could see this how God is preparing each one of us to go through an obstacle, but letting us know that he is with us and to trust in him and to trust in his plans that he has for us. Because in Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for God, it says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and to give you hope. Not to harm you, but plans to give you a future. And it's a future in Christ. We got to remember that he sent his son to the world to, to die for our sins. Because none of us are perfect down the world. But not only that, but God sent his son because... That was the only way we could be saved and have salvation. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only beloved son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Put your faith in Christ. Trust in Christ what he got for you. Because he is right now preparing me and you a place so that we could be in this place. And God will reign with us. We will reign with him forever, for eternity. And we will, and it will be people with God in one, in a place to be worshiping God and giving him thanks. And God only knows what we're going to be doing for eternally, eternity. But we know that we are going to have joy, that we're going to have peace, and that there's going to be no more suffering, no more pain, no more anger. Just trust in the Lord's plan. He has a plan and he, it's going to happen because when God says something, it's going to happen. Pharaoh tried stopping God's plan, but no mankind, no demon, nothing could go over what God is going to do in God's plan. Because God got all the will, authority over all places. How even too he got authority over. All the demons, even the Satan himself, God got will and authority over all people over all things over all places and beyond so brothers and sisters while they leave egypt where they serve pagan idols where they serve idols wicked they think that they're just gonna go to egypt and um go to the promised land and that's it we're, we're done but God had plans already. He was going to test them along the way. And God told them that he was with them. So sometimes these things happen because God, he wants us to know that he is with us. And that's how our faith grows. Like we know, okay, Lord, throughout all the things I've ever been through, I know that you're with me. I trust in this. Even though this is the worst side of all things, I know you were always with me then. I know you're with me now. Brothers and sisters, that's how we are to be, having faith in the Lord, having trust in the Lord. Galatians chapter 5 explains a lot of things, but verse 21 and up can talk about the bad things of the world, but then talks about the spirits of the, um, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And the first one is love. We are to spread the love of God, joy, um, long-suffering. God wants us to be like him. And the world isn't like that. So God left his word so that when we are going through something, we have his word that we can count on. Understand, brothers and sisters? Now, 
brothers and sisters, life is not easy. We can see that in a lot of things in the Bible. And people try to bring this out of the Bible as a defense to say God is a bad God or even that God is not real. But brothers and sisters, we know that God is real. And there's bad things now in the world because of the sin that humankind made. But not only that, brothers and sisters, the devil is trying to make God's believers, God's people, try to fall. And there's been people who, who are falling. But if we keep on praying, chains can be broken in the name of Jesus. We just need to keep on the faith, keep on praying, and keep interceding for these lives in Jesus' name. And we need to keep spiritually growing. Amen? And then, since they didn't know... Since they didn't believe that God was with them, they were in this place where, with big walls and these people and everything. And out of all the spies, only Joshua and Caleb believed that the Lord was with them. And they were the only ones to enter that city. And then 40 years they were to go to, to, those, to that city. But God's plan still, God's promise to the Israelites still went on. Okay, brothers and sisters? Because they still made it into the city of milk and honey, which was Canaan. And brothers and sisters, um, that's how God is with us. No matter what, his promise still stands. So it's his promise that he's coming back to pick up his people. We believe it because we believe it with all our hearts. And honestly, how the air been feeling, we could feel it that Christ is coming soon. Brothers and sisters, I pray that each one of you have heard the voice of God in this video. That each one of you learned something new. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.